Thursday morning I've just spent my third night at the lake and it's time to move on today um, one of my missions is to get an attachment for this this is the clip which goes over the top of the new gas bottle I've bought this just sort of clips on but what I need is a connector for this thread because my hose that I currently have is just on a very thin sort of nozzle attached with a, a Jubilee clip so I'm going to a town it's 30 miles away but it's going to take over an hour it's probably going to be difficult driving this morning but at least it's only an hour and not like five or six um, there's a couple of towns that I can go to that have got different kinds of shops which so I'm hoping I'll find it um, if not I do know where I can get one there is a specialist shop that does this particular connector but it's hours and hours away and I'm not going to drive that far just for this um, because I, I can get by on electric, you know, and I think I've got enough gas in my gallery for a while. Um, obviously, I'd like to get it as soon as possible. So that's my plan for the day. And I'm also going to be visiting, hopefully, a pretty village along the way. Found myself an Intermarché. And look what they have. So I'm going to go and see if the uh, washing machine's working. And then I'm going to go into the shop and see if I can find that hose pipe. I wasn't able to get a hose pipe, but over on the left machine there, that is my washing drying. So two euros for 15 minutes. The, uh, the wash was four euros, took half an hour, so I went and did a little bit of shopping while that was going. And hopefully the 15 minutes will be enough. Do you know a funny thing? I have never actually used a tumble dryer before ever in my life. This is the first time. There you go. I am at an Air de Campingcar, and this is the River Dordogne. I'm in a little town called Beaulieu sur Dordogne and um, I think this is a proper air for motorhomes. There's other sort of campers and, and motorhomes that are here. Now I'm not going to stay the night. So you can get electricity and this is token electricity. So one token for four hours. I'm not sure how much that is. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go for a little wander around the village, have a look around, and then I'm going to move on to the next area because I'm still looking for that hose. I asked um, at the Intermarché where I got where they sell the gas bottles, and she said if it's not in the magazine, they don't in, in, in the magazine <laughs> in the shop they don't have it. Uh, and I'd already looked in there, so they don't. They had some camping gas bottles and they had the regulators. They didn't have, and they had a hose, but not the one with the connector. So I'm still looking. But yeah, this is very nice. So, I'm going to go for a little wander. It's blazing hot. It's 12 o'clock. So, right in the midday sun. So the, uh, the van's going to roast here, but never mind. Found the details up here, so it's free for the day. And if you want to um, park overnight, it's just over five euros. The electricity is two euros for four hours, which is actually quite good. And um, if you want water, two euros for a run for 20 minutes. So yeah, so it's free for me to just park here while I go explore the town, which is pretty cool. So I think this is the sort of little town centre bit. And I'm not exactly wowed. I mean. It's kind of nice, but it's not. It's sort of run down and there's lots of dirty bits and maybe I'm just at the wrong part, you know? But um, certainly not what I'd call one of the prettiest villages in France, which is what it is labelled as. There's over 150 of them and this is one of them, apparently. So this is a little better. Apart from all the cars, it's quite busy. This seems to be more of the place to be. People are here having their lunch or whatever. So I might grab myself a cold beverage. I'm in a kind of a medieval part. I'm not sure what this building is. The door is open which makes me want to go and look inside. It's probably an old church or something. I don't know if I'm allowed in here. I'm whispering.
Okay, it was some kind of church, and there's a service going on, so I can hear cows singing. The doors are closed. So maybe I should go around the other side, seeing what's around there. Yeah, so this is <coughs> this is the other side. It's open. People are coming out now. It's very quiet down here. There's not a lot open. Look, oh, it's closed up. It's things like that, which makes it just not so pretty. And this one here, regional products, that would have been nice. But it's closed. Let's wander in and have a look. Actually, I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm not sure it's a good idea to film inside churches. It feels somewhat kind of disrespectful, maybe. It's okay. lovely and cool in here which after the blazing hot sun outside is quite a relief I'm still whispering because it's a church and you feel like you've got a whisper do you know what I mean hmm? that's pretty fancy I'm not sure if that's catching that. Okay, this is the River Dordogne. And this little bit here is what go, presumably what goes off towards the uh, motorhome area. A bit loud here, some shouting. This is what I saw from that viewpoint up the top. And as I drove in towards the town, I saw this and I thought, right, I want to find this walkway. That's beautiful. They're very loud. other side of the bridge now and what is pretty is you know the the village more from a distance where it's set in you know it's, it's along the river and then it's set in against the backdrop of the hillside so that's pretty it's just a shame that it, it's a little bit run down on the inside so a bit disappointing really I'm gonna sit here for a little while and then I'm gonna go back to the motorhome have some lunch and then I'm gonna move on Check this out, I've got my awning up and I have a camping chair and I have a load of washing hanging out of my windows. Every other motorhome here is sitting outside on their chairs and tables, outside their awnings, having their lunch. So I thought, right, this would be a great opportunity to test it. Oh, that's a bit wonky. Could do with raising that one up a bit. I don't really care. So yeah, awning needs a clean, but it works. And I've got my little camping chair. I do have a table in there, but I can't bother with that. So I'm going to make myself some lunch. And I'm going to sit outside in the shade. And eat my lunch. While listening to the sounds of this little stream. See a few other motorhomes up there. I've got all the windows open. It is well hot in there. I, I never thought I'd have this problem where I was so hot. I thought it was going to be cold. But no, not today. See so, ya. Yeah. How cute is that? I actually think it looks a bit gypsy-ish, but, you know, whatever. So I'm now down at an air in Giac, and there is actually several motorhomes here. There's a couple more around this one that you can't see. And next to mine, French van, British couple. I've just spent a couple of hours with them having a drink, sitting outside, having a good old chat, which is very nice. So um, there is a, 
a river down there somewhere. I'm supposed to be able to walk to. Um, but I'm not sure how accessible it is. I don't think this place is open. But I'm probably just going to stay here the one night and move on tomorrow because I still haven't found my hose pipe. And um, yeah, the British couple were very helpful in giving me some suggestions of places to look, which is good. But this is another nice air. People eating out al fresco. So yeah, very nice. But now I'm going to go and cook myself some dinner and have a cold beer.